This is my self-love journey. How over the years I healed my self-worth and self-esteem. 2023 completely changed my life in so many dimensions. It is the year when I realized the importance of self-awareness, self-worth, self-esteem, and self-care. I was born and brought up in a South Asian joint family. My childhood was an extreme roller coaster ride. Growing up as a child, there were times when I used to feel unvalued, unloved, unwanted, and uncherished. I went to a high English medium school, but they never taught us how to be bold, how to speak up for yourself, and how to put your thoughts at the table. All they did was to never stop checking your grades and tend to focus on what we aren't accomplishing more than what we are. Back then, my parents were also very controlling and not easy to approach to. And eventually, I started keeping a lot just to myself. I was shy and never learned how to express my feelings or how to say no to someone. Now, when I look back, I feel like I could have lived an exuberant childhood if I had someone to talk to about how I feel. Back then, I lacked the self-awareness to understand what was happening. Over the years, I would just blame myself for not being confident, not speaking confidently about how I feel, how at times I would not feel confident about my looks, how I was so feared of being judged, of being weird, or even speaking up my mind. Here are some things that I started doing in my early 20s and that helped me to heal my self-worth. First is, stop comparing myself to others. I am a special of my own kind, I am unique, beautiful, I am a rainbow, and I am just complete as who I am. I started saying these words loudly to myself every day, and I was so moved to see how worthy I truly was for the first time. Over the years, I was killing my self-love by comparing myself to others, and never realized that it's diminishing my own shine and reflection. Reflecting within myself, being more mindful of my energy helped me to see a clearer picture. Like a rose and a lily, they both are flowers and they both are very beautiful and unique in their own sense. A rose cannot diminish lily's freshness and a lily cannot take away rose grace. The same way, my qualities, mindset, strengths, and ideas are something that no one can take away from me. And hence, it is a wastage of time to compare yourself with others. Instead, life will be way more beautiful when you will spread more love, positivity, and support. The second thing that I started doing was recognizing positives about myself. Self-love journey is a very beautiful journey. It is an entire journey of always speaking of yourself positively, reminding yourself of your self-worth, having positive conversations with yourself, and celebrating your success. I started taking time to praise myself for small to little success in life. It can be consistently doing a workout for three days, running my errands early on the weekends, or even going outside for a walk. Taking small steps at a time and appreciating those achievements over the path gives a sense of accomplishment and profoundly impacts our self-perfection. Keeping everything to myself was only needing to overthinking and anxious feeling for long periods. To be listened, felt, and most importantly healed, it was important for me to find ways to communicate. I started by reflecting deep inside and journaling my thoughts. I started reading articles, listening to motivational podcasts, and writing all my thoughts. It opened up my horizon in so many unexpected ways, and when I finally felt confident, I started sharing and communicating my thoughts over LinkedIn, Instagram, and also started my own YouTube channel. The third thing that helped me is spending more time with people I trust and love. Last year, I met my family after six years. The love and warmth of someone close to me I was dying to receive for so long, I received it all when I met my family and suddenly realized that the family's role in shaping self-esteem seems to be fundamental. I felt much more confident being rooted to myself and so relaxed by spending time with them. They entirely accepted me the way I am, listened to me truly and loved me unconditionally. My parents were no longer controlling, instead they believed that I am mature enough to make my own decisions now. 
They trusted me and that even led to greater satisfaction and happiness. Everything looked so beautiful around them, and I was able to see my life in the bigger picture. Spending time with them after so long helped me to realize that people who love and support me will accept me entirely the way I am. Family's love, support, and encouragement boosted my self-esteem, leading to a more positive outlook on life. From a girl who didn't have enough self-worth and would always see herself the smallest in the circle, to someone who started speaking and loving loudly, started viewing herself as worthy as she always was, it took a lot of efforts to build that mindset and years of healing. You will never regret loving and investing in yourself. Therefore, it's never too late to start your self-love journey. And if you are in the middle of it, I hope these tips will help you guide through the process to live your best life glowing and shining brightly.